हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज नीलिमा निमजे फ्रॉम बी एम एस डिपार्टमेंट एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ सब्जेक्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट एंड इन दिस वी आर डूइंग एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो यर आई एम गोइंग टू हैव अ टॉपिक कॉल एज इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वान्टिटीज फॉर्मूलाज एंड इट्स न्यूमरिकल सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फॉर्मूला सो ईओ दिस इज एन ई ओ क्यू फॉर्मूला दैट इज इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वान्टिटी फॉर्मूला द फॉर्मूला इज टू इन टू एनुअल कंजम्पन इन यूनिट इन टू कॉस्ट पर ऑर्डर डिवाइडेड बाई प्राइस पर यूनिट इन टू कैरिंग कॉस्ट इन दैट इज बीन गिवन इन एन परसेंटेज फॉर्म एंड अंडर रूट ऑफ दिस एंटायर फॉर्मूला इन शॉर्टकट वी कुड राइट इट एज अंडर रूट टू ए ओ डिवाइडेड बाई सी now let us have the numericals based on that so very first numerical says an auto industry purchase spark plus at the rate of 25 per piece so here we would be writing given item unit uh unit price is rupees 25 and the annual consumptions of the spark plug is 18000 number so here annual demand is 18000 if the ordering cost is 250 per order so here the ordering cost is 250 and the carrying cost is 25% per annum so carrying cost is 25% 25% simply means 0.25 now what would be an eoq so very first this is an eoq formula under root 2 into annual demand Very first two into annual demand. What is an annual demand? Annual demand is eighteen thousand into what we are doing. We are going to multiply the ordering cost. What is an ordering cost? It is two fifty divided by now divided by unit price. What is an unit price? Twenty five rupees is an unit price into the carrying cost. Carrying cost is my zero point two five. so when i will make an proper calculation of this so my calculation like uh, 2 into 18 into 25 would give me around 90 lakh 90 lakh Divided by twenty five into zero point two five is six point two five. So your I would be getting around fourteen when I will divide ninety lakh divided by six point two five. I am getting around fourteen lakh forty thousand. And when I will uh, under root this fourteen lakh forty thousand, the units that I am going to get is twelve hundred units. So this is my EOQ that I have been obtained by applying the formula of EOQ. Now let us look at the next numerical. So next numerical is from the following data given below. Calculate the EOQ and total inventory management cost for the item. Now your uh you need to carry two uh, you need to calculate two things very first is eoq and the second is total inventory management cost so very first uh, let us uh, directly solve an eoq uh, thing so eoq ka formula is around 2 into annual demand what is an annual demand here the annual demand given is 12000 units so 2 into 12000 into the uh, ordering cost now here what is an ordering cost ordering cost given is around 75 rupees divided by unit per, per uh, purchase price that is rupees 1 into cost of ca uh, carrying cost that is 20% which means 0.20 now when i will multiply 2 into 12 12000 into 75 i am getting approximately uh, i am getting 18 lakh divided by 0.2 now when i am dividing this 18 lakh divided by 0.2 i am going to get 90 lakh and when i am going to make an under root of this 90 lakh i am going to get 3000 units so i have obtained an eoq of rupees 3000 units so i have calculated my eoq now i need to calculate my total inventory management cost so my total cost is nothing but ordering cost plus carrying cost now 
ordering cost let us see very first what is an ordering cost ordering cost ka there is an formula okay so here i am writing ordering cost how i am going to calculate this ordering cost ordering cost is nothing but uh, annual demand divided by economic order quantity so my annual demand is 12000 divided my economic order quantity which i have obtained is 3000 so i am going to get over here is 4 so i have annually placed four orders okay now as i have on annually placed four orders now my per order now here you can see 75 per order i have required an ordering cost of 75 rupees so 75 into 4 i am going to get this 300 rupees so my ordering cost here is 300 now carrying cost now how i am going to calculate this carrying cost as i have uh, in uh, last lecture there is was an uh, there was one of the point of assumption where you need to carry an average inventory so what is an average inventory ka formula it is q divided by 2 my q is 3000 that is my economic order quantity is 3000 divided by 2 it means 1500 now how much cost of carrying inventory is given in the question it is 20% so 1500 का ट्वेंटी परसेंट आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट विच इज थ्री हंड्रेड सो दैट वुड बी माई कैरिंग कॉस्ट सो माई कैरिंग कॉस्ट इज थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज सो वेन आई मेक एन एडिशन ऑफ ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट एंड कैरिंग कॉस्ट आई एम गेटिंग सिक्स हंड्रेड एज माई टोटल कॉस्ट सो माई टोटल इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट कॉस्ट इज रुपीज सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड माई ईओ क्यू कैलकुलेशन इज थ्री थाउजेंड यूनिट दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूमरिकल ना लेटेस्ट मूव टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट न्यूमरिकल नाउ दिस इज अ न्यूमरिकल वेर यू कुड हैव द सम्स इन वे वेराइटी वेर यू कैन हैव द आंसर इन टू डायमेंशन सो वेरी फर्स्ट लेट एस गो थ्रू विद द क्वेश्चन सो अ फर्म इज एबल टू ऑप्टेन अ डिस्काउंट ऑन इट्स ऑर्डर ऑफ मटेरियल एज फॉलो here there are certain price that has been given and the units related to that and what you need to calculate over here is the annual demand for the material is 4000 units so it's very simple i'm just writing it over here annual demand is 4000 now stock holding cost holding cost is nothing but the carrying cost so my carrying cost is 20% now the delivery cost per order so your uh, per order ka cost is uh, ordering cost is 6 rupees okay now here i need to ca calculate the best quantity to order very first let us go out with the formula so what does an eoq formula is eoq is equal to uh, under root 2 into 4000 into your uh, ordering cost which is rupees 6 divided by your uh your uh, carrying cost okay carrying cost is my 20% which is 0.20 now here let's talk about the unit price now what now let us uh, make an assumption that you would be getting the product at very very limited cost very very low cost and what is a low cost over here it's 5.60 so 5. 5.60 so that's how i'm going to make an calculation Five point six zero into zero point two zero. So now let us make an calculation for this. So your four thousand into two into six, you will be getting forty eight thousand divided by five point six zero into zero point two zero. I my calculations are one point one two. Now your when I would be dividing this, I would be getting forty two thousand eight hundred and fifty seven. And when I would be square rooting this particular thing. my unit obtains would be 207 units so this is as per my eoq formula but kindly go through this question again there it is printed and you are required to calculate the best quantity to order as per this eoq formula the best quantity to order this is not an appropriate quantity that you need to order so now let us go through and uh proper uh, like uh, which quantity to order let us have a look into that so i have made a appropriate table for it so that our calculations would be quite easy so very first my ordering quantity so this 200 250 800 how i have taken it less than 
for six rupees i am getting less than 250 so i have taken 200 second is 250 and less than 800 so here i have taken 250 here i have taken 800 and less than 2000 so i have taken an initial minimum 800 next is 2000 and less than 4000 so here i have taken 2000 and 4000 and above here i have taken 4000 and my pricing is already given in the question so that's how i've taken 200 250 200 250 800 2000 and 4000 and the pricing which was already given in the question now i have solved the very first uh, term uh, so cost of purchase i have divided this uh, entire sum into three formulas as we require a total cost so for that we require the purchase cost our ordering cost and carrying cost so first column consists of our purchase cost so purchase cost is fixed so in our question it is very clearly mentioned that we have an annual demand of 4000 units so 4000 and per unit we are getting uh, we are getting per unit at 6 rupees so 4000 into 6 that is what 24000 now similarly i would be doing it for um, uh, second one so your 4000 into i am getting it at 5.90 so 5.90 is something I would be getting 23,600. Again, third 4,000 units and I am getting it at rupees 5.80. So 4,000 into 5.80. Here I am making a calculation of 23,200. Then next is 4,000 into 5.70 as my pricing is. So 5.70. So here my calculations are 22,800. And the last one is 4,000 and a quantity that has been ordered and I am getting it at 5.60. So my calculations are 22,400. Okay. Now let us calculate the ordering cost. Now ordering cost how you are going to do? 4,000 that is your annual consumption divided by the order quantity. My ordering quantity for the very first is 200 into 6. Now why into 6? Here you, here you can uh, read in the question, the delivery cost per order is rupees 6 and henceforth we have multiplied it by 6. So 4000 divided by 200 into 6 would give me 120. Then next I am solving it over here, 4000 divided by my ordering quantity over here is 250 rupees. So as my ordering quantity over here is 250 rupees, so 250 uh, into 6, it would be giving me around 96 rupees. Then 4000 divided by 800 into 6, I would be getting around 30 rupees. Moving towards the next, my uh, per ordering quantity is, for my annual demand is 4000 divided by my ordering quantity is 2000 and my per order cost is 6 so i am getting your 12 rupees moving towards next 4000 my annual demand divided by my ordering quantity is entirely 4000 into 6 so my year cost of order is 6 rupees so that's how i've calculated all the ordering cost moving towards the next is cost of stock holding it is nothing but the carrying cost so how come carrying cost has been calculated 200 is nothing but an ordering quantity into 6 rupees okay 6 is nothing but the price per unit into 20 20 is nothing but here you can see in the question stock holding costs are 20 percent so 20 percent is the same thing 20 divided by 100 that is 20 percent and um, uh, in denominator you need to multiply it by 2 so that would be giving me 120 so here what i would be doing 250 into my price over here is 5.90 into 20 percent 2 into 100 it would be giving me around rupees 147.50 again calculating the next 800 is my ordering quantity my price is 5.80 and 20% is my carrying cost. So again the same 2 into 100. So here I would be getting 464. And here again 2000 is my ordering quantity. 5.70 is my 
unit per price 20 percent is the carrying cost so here i am getting one uh, one one four zero next is four thousand into your uh, Per unit is 5.60, 20 divided by 2 into 100, you are going to get 2240. That's how I have calculated my carrying cost. Now, the total is nothing but the summation of column A, to, uh, A B and C. So, here, what I, how come I have arrived at this 24240 uh, 24, rupees? I have added 24,000 plus here, I am writing it at 24,000 plus 120 plus 120. Like A, B and C column, I have just made a proper uh, add-on for this column. Now, second, 23,600 plus 96 plus 147.50. I am going to get 23843. As in total. Again, doing the same, then I am going to get over here 23694. Here, uh, if I am making a calculation of 22,800 plus 12 plus 1140, then I am getting 23,952. And in last column, I am going to get 24,646. Now, here, as you can see, the ordering quantity over here is different. Now, just look at the total cost. And where you can see the lowest total cost, and here you can, uh, like, you can see the lowest total cost at 800 ordering unit. When you will order 800 quantity, at that time your carrying cost, your uh, uh, ordering cost and your purchase cost would be completely minimum. So this 800 units you need to order because that is the most optimal unit that you can find it out over in this particular sum. So that's all about for the, this session. Thank you all. Uh, let's meet you out in the next section. Thank you.